Hey all you stone agers out there, it's Cave Girl, your prehistoric beauty guru. Listen, we all know how hard it is being a teen in any tribe. And don't forget the whole not having invented the wheel yet thing. Seriously, the only form of transportation I have are these guys. But don't you worry, you cave ladies out there. I'm here to help. Ah Will you lower your grunt volume? I'm trying to do my vlog. My family's a bunch of Neanderthals. Okay, so on today's episode, we're gonna be talking about one of my most favorite topics, nail art. You may be thinking to yourself, cave girl, how am I supposed to make incredible artistic designs when we don't even have tools yet and our nails look like this? Girl, I have you covered. Step one, take your gnarly, mangled, probably so long they're curled over nails and start sanding them down into smooth, rounded tips. My preferred method for this grueling task is something I'd like to call the rough and buff. Find the roughest stone in your cave room and start buffing your nails. This may seem a little drastic and a little hurdy, but girly girl, you have to keep your nails even Stevens. Remember, nail clippers don't even exist for another couple hundred thousand years. Sorry. <laughs> step is removing those cuticles. The fastest and dare I say easiest way to do so is simply to <coughs> the old chew and spit. <coughs> it may be crass and a little time consuming, but sometimes the sharpest tools a cave girl can find are her own pearly whites or browns. Now it's time to paint in your favorite color. You can use a variety of found objects for this to achieve the perfect shade of the season. Red, purple, orange, green, blood. The next step is to apply the color evenly. Voila! I like to call this color raw meat red. Don't forget to let your nails dry before you walk outside because the smell of food on your fingers will surely lure some animals in and a bird might just swoop in and smudge them. Oh, Sheldon, no! No, 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 no! Get off! Pets can be so annoying. Well, there's always my super secret remedy, leaf tipping. You can just get rid of all the smudges this way. If you're feeling funky, or you have a date with the cute cave boy down by the watering hole tonight, you can totally jazz up your nails with some fancy decorations in no time. Woolly mammoth fur is super hot right now, but you can use anything from dinosaur teeth to tree bark. It's all about a little extra texture and a whole lot of pop. Perfect, nail art nailed. So that's it for today's episode of Cave Girl's Guide. Join me next time for my perfect prom hair tutorial. Hint, it involves two twigs, a bone, and a whole lot of love. Bye bye Not like our actual exes, like that would be great, right? But like the idea of our exes, because they used to disappear from your life forever, but now you can look them up whenever you're feeling lonely, or as you like to call it, bored.